1.1 cause of action and applicability of law they are two distinct different and independent elements and one cannot be confused with the other cause of action means our right to sue consisting of material facts which are to be alleged and imperative for the plaintiff to prove them to succeed in the suit for example if the parties agreed that law of hong kong is applicable to decide the dispute between them that clause is nothing to do with the local limits of the jurisdiction of the court cause of action is the one of the primary requirements for an individual to file a suit the plaintiff in a suit must state the fact that prompted him to file the suit the cause of action once ascertained would constitute the starting point in the context of recogning recogning of limitation it would also become relevant to examine whether any proceedings were instituted on an earlier auction occasion on the same cause of action and if so whether the result thereof would operate as res judicata these are a few consequences that follow from the cause of action and there are many other this is also important to know whether the court in which the plaint is presented have territorial jurisdiction to entertain the cause for adjudication